Hi, this is Jan Payne, and I'm back at you. I want to talk a little bit about um, criticizing uh, the sea in uh, Victor and in Victim. Um, I think it's easier in our culture to criticize, condemn, and complain. Um, I challenge each of you to go through an entire day without doing any one of those things. Uh, a whole entire day without criticizing somebody, without complaining, without condemning anybody for their way of thinking. Imagine what it would be like if everybody was just like you. Well, if everybody was just like you, it would be great, right? <laughs> anyway, um, remember, whatever you give energy to is going to grow. So when it comes to your house, and why I choose to say, when someone asks me how I am, I feel better than good, is because I know whatever I give energy to will grow. And so if I say I feel better than good, then all my cells are going to start to respond in a way that's going to make me feel better. It's going to make me feel better than good. If I say I am sick, I am sick, uh, how does that feel? it immediately puts those negative cells to action to make you feel sick. Um, I have a headache. It will intensify the headache because you're giving energy to that wherever that headache is and you're going to feel more pain. If, um, and plus, if you say it in the present tense, that's where you are. If you say, I am happy, you can't say, I am happy, with a frown on your face. It just doesn't work. Try it. Um, if you think a happy thought, you can't be sad either. So I challenge you, in this moment, no matter what you're going through, to think about that. Think about how amazing our mind is and how we can take ourselves out of a situation that is negative and immediately transform ourselves into that positive place where we want to be. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, it's a fact that you have a situation. You are in a situation right now. That doesn't mean you're going to stay there. It's like uh, when you lose somebody, if somebody passes away and you're feeling grief, um, there is this passage that says, um, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It says I walk through the shadow. It doesn't say I go there and stay there. So this is a stage. It is a journey. And we are in it. I mean, for me, as I went through it, I knew that it was my journey. And somebody could say, I know how you feel. Well, they don't know how you feel. Let me just tell you that. Let me just say this about that. They had no clue how I felt. And I didn't want them to know. I just wanted them to, you know, share a part of their day. I wanted them to act the way they normally act with me. I wanted to be happy in that moment and to make jokes. Like um, when I lost my, started to lose my hair, um, I was still in denial and so... Um, it was long enough to put up in a bun, and I put it up in a bun, and after several days, I decided that I'd better cut it. Well, the bun was more like a, a rat's nest, and I couldn't get a comb through it. So I called my hairdresser, the one who cuts my hair, or who used to cut my hair when I had some, and I asked her if she could help me. And so I went to her, and she looked at this rat's nest on my head and she said I can't do anything about it and what we la later learned was my hair was falling out and there was in this bun and there was no place to go so it was basically a nest and it was disgusting it was really gross it was like um, it was having dreadlocks without it being dreaded I don't know but anyway so I had her laughing and I had everybody else around her booth laughing you know just saying how much fun chemo was, because this is what it does to you. And I didn't even know the worst of it, because I did lose all my hair, all my eyelashes, all my eyebrows, and all my hair everywhere. I mean, of course, the benefit was I didn't have to shave my legs, yay, or under my arms, yay. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but somehow I still managed to have that long hair that grows here, you know, that you never see, and then all of a sudden it's that long, and you wonder how you ever manage to go outside looking like this. Anyway, that's the fun part of it. You just have to have fun with whatever you're going through. There are, of course, other people going through it, but that doesn't make you feel any better when you look in the mirror and this is what you see. So make a joke of it. Have fun with it because you can't change it. It is what it is. And um, as long as you um, have that smile on your face, as long as you are um, easy to get along with and happy, people will want to be around you and you want to be around them. And so, again, I want to thank my friend Debbie because she came and she took me out. And in fact, she brought me my first um, Starbucks latte and uh she she made me like sweet things i never did before i never did before i went through this toxicity that got me to my healthy place and so anyway i just want to share that with you because um Everything in life just is. There is a law of relativity, and it basically says everything just is. It's not good or bad until or unless we relate it to something else. And most people use that law of the universe against themselves. You know, they always, they often, I won't say always, use it against themselves. And in this case, I challenge you to make it good. Use it to your advantage instead of your disadvantage, okay? And I will get back to that later, but I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you, and I'll be back soon. Until later, this is Jan, empowering you to attract incredible, healthy possibilities.